All right, so in part one, we've built this to-do app inside Nux.js locally. So if you haven't watched part one, um, make sure to watch first part one, otherwise it will be not really able to follow along in part two here, because in part two, we will take care to connect our app to a database, in this case, Firebase, just like mentioned in the uh, first part of this uh, tutorial series. So. Currently we have the app and everything is working. I can add, um, actually I have here a bug going on, but we can add uh, new to-dos and we can remove them. Let me quickly actually fix that because I think I have played around here and forget to remove the changes I made. All right, now it should work. So if I add here a protein shake, we get the protein shake, and if I say coding with code camp base, we get this to do as well. And of course, I can click on them and it will remove it again. I've played around a little bit and uh, have to fix here a few things in order to make my app work again. But if you have watched part one, you know that everything is actually working. All right, so in part two, we are going to connect the database uh, to our app because currently, um, if I add any to do here and refresh the app you will see that it will be removed again that's because we are just uh, having a local state but it's not connected to any database or whatsoever so in this case the first thing we need to do is to head over to firebase google.com and make sure to sign up an account and you can uh, create up to 10 projects completely for free and you can even request uh, to be able to create uh, more projects uh, for free uh, you simply have to fill out a form and make a request um, I did that and they actually approved that so I can create up to like 20 projects or something like that so I already created like a, a test database but for this tutorial I will also create a complete new project just in case you have never touched Firebase or you're not familiar how to do that so let's click here on add project then we need to add here a uh, project name uh, let's just call it next to do tutorial in my case and then let's click here on continue and here as well and then let's select the account and let's create project and so this takes a little bit longer sometimes. In the meanwhile, we can head over to the console and say yarn app Firebase and press enter. I already did that, so I don't need to do that. If you use npm, you can say npm install Firebase and then make sure to add the save uh, flag. I will start the server again and firebase should be already finished there we go let's click on continue and so the first thing you always need to do is to click here on this gear icon then on project settings and here you can choose between different environments unity ios android and web related environments um, obviously we need to choose here the web environment and then let's call it just next app next to do app register app and then we can copy here these credentials. Uh, let's click here. Actually, we got the here the credentials. So we don't need the script or anything because we will initialize uh, Firebase from our own environment. So all we need to do is actually just to copy this here. And then let's head over to the text editor. And I will close here everything first off. And then inside uh, plugins, we can create a new file called Firebase.js. And here I can import first off Firebase like so. And once we have done this, we can just paste it here in. And then down here, I make we'll make a new variable called app. I will make this equal to nil. And then we will say, hey, if there is no Firebase apps yet, so if we have not initialized our Firebase app, I want to say app equals to the Firebase initialize app like so. And I can remove that here from the bottom. And with that, we are pretty much finished. The only thing you need also to do always if you add Firebase to your next app is to head over to nuxconfig.js. And here on the plugins, we need to add the, let's see, how can I get the root sign, there we go. So you need to add your root sign, then plugins, and then Firebase.js. Okay, and whenever you add your something to the Nux config.js file, make sure to restart the server, otherwise um, Nux.js will be not aware of the changes you made and you will get an error. And so once the server is restarted, 
we can then head over to our pages index view file and then down here where we actually we don't have yet the added the mounted method so here we add mounted and so whenever we mount this component or in this case the page i want to make a firebase call okay so it's a firebase firestore collection to do's and then get and then we make a promise okay and here we will add whatever we get back and for now we just console lock that okay just to confirm that we have connected firebase uh, correctly and that everything's working now in order to be able to fire this off we also need to import firebase so again firebase from firebase app there we go and with that we should already get now a console lock back so let's open up the inspector and we already got here an error firestore is not a function um that's because we also have to add firestore so import firebase firestore okay Sometimes should work. So if I go here to console, you will see that we get an error back. That's because, right, so we haven't created yet the cloud uh, Firestore database. That's why we get this error here back. However, we got here actually a console log back, and that is coming from the Firebase Firestore line here that we have added to the mounted. Um, method so this confirms that we are already talking to the database however we also need to uh, create the database so let's head over here to fires uh, base and click on database and you can choose between two different databases the old one called retime database which is a json based uh, database and then the new one called cloud firestore cloud firestore is actually pretty awesome if you ask me as someone who uses a lot of rays um, and SQL databases. I really like the way Firestore works and you can do actually a lot of stuff with it. So let's click here on create database and make sure to select test mode, click on next, done. And you can also choose the location if you want. So I just leave it as it is because I, I guess for this tutorial, it doesn't really matter where our location is. And this takes a little bit longer sometimes uh, because Firebase is uh, initializing the whole database in the background. Let's see. Um, in the meanwhile, I will maybe clean up here a little bit of my code. All right, so Firebase is now finished. So let's click here on Start Collection and call this one To Do's. And then I will click here on Auto ID and then let's call this feed To Do and let's say uh, Protein Shake. And let's click on Save. So with that, we have created our first document. And now when I refresh the app, we no longer should get first of the error. Uh, we get now our, our um, callback here. Okay, and as you can see, the array is one. So it already recognizes that we have one document inside there. And because we get an error with the response back, what we can do is we can say res for each, and then we can console log X data, and with that we should get back the first to do there we go it's protein shake and we can also just grab the to do so with that we get the string just back protein shake okay so now that we have done this what I want to do is I want to push whatever we have inside here to our um, store state to do so I would grab that and remove that here from mounted and then let's head over to store mutations and inside here we will, um, where we say set to do I will paste it in and then I will instead of console log that I will push whatever we have here um, from the data I will push the to do like so and with that, let's refresh the app and let's see what we get. Actually nothing because we don't call this yet, I think. So when we mount, I won't say this, 
dot store commit set to do. And because we no longer really need a payload, I will remove the payload here, like so. And we just want to push what we get back from Firebase. And we get Firebase not defined, so let's just grab that here quickly from our index page and paste it here inside our mutations file. And now we get do not mutate vx store state outside mutation handlers. Right, so let's refactor this. I will grab this here one more time actually. And here I will just leave the state push to do's and push to payload just like we had it before. Seems like this setup is not uh, really working. Um, so again, back here inside mounted, let's just paste it in one more time. And then instead of pushing that here to state and things like that, let's uh, make a store commit. And here I will paste in the response data to do. Okay, and normally with that, we should get back the Firebase not defined, okay. I actually removed that here, so let's paste it here in again. And now finally we should get back the to-do from our back end. Um, we have an error. Rest data is not defined. And now finally it works. Okay, we get the protein shake back, which is inside here. I can add another document and say um, workout. And with that, actually, it's called to do. And here, workout. And with that, if I refresh this again, we get the second new to do back as well. All right, so let's refactor our code here. So this we need to do basically the same for when we um, create a new document. So here I will just paste it in and say add. And then we need to make a callback. And here we need to say Firebase Firestore collection to do document and here we paste just in the response ID and then I will say set and here I will then add first of the um, to do with this dot to do and then we also will add the ID that's inside here inside the response and once we have done this once everything worked here I will make a callback empty one and then I will push whatever we have here uh, inside uh, to our database and let's change this here quickly as well and make this an error with different attributes so here we say this dot to do and for the ID I will say press ID okay and here let's change this as well let's say to do equals to payload to do and the ID Okay, and this should already work. Let's see. Um, when I add now a new to do, hello. You see it worked. We got the new to do, hello, and the ID back. And when I refresh that, you see that it stayed there because we pushed that to the database already, okay? Which is pretty awesome, right? 
Uh, so everything's working. Uh, we can add new to do's and it's automatic, you know, backed up with our Firebase uh, database, which is pretty awesome. If, if you consider how, how long it actually took was pretty quick to do, right? So everything's working here. All right. So we have done that. Um, since we are pushing now the to do ID and the to do um, itself, we need to grab a thing here the to do itself. Right. Um, seems like this is not working. All right, let's take care first of um, on the remove methods. Um, I actually removed that here from my methods. So I will add here again quickly uh, remove to do and add here the index. like so and before we simply call it inside mutations remove to do right and then adjust the index here but now we need to change the this logic a little bit um, so i would grab this here again and paste it in and here i will remove add and instead i would say um, document and here i want to add the to do id and then I want to say delete, okay? And then I will add a callback. And with that, we pretty much have deleted the document whenever we click um, the uh, specific document or specific to do. Um, but we also need to push that now to our store, right? So that we update that as well. So here I will say again, this dot store commit and then remove to do and then here I will add the index. Now we also need to grab the to do ID. So I will also add here the to do. And here where we make the call, let's add the to do. Oh, I already did that actually. So not only we should get back or should be able to remove um, document but we don't let me quick double check here what's going on all right so um i had to pause the video here because i had to play around with it a little bit um because kind of like something was not working the way it should work um so all i actually did so i kind of like refactored the code here okay um so here inside the sub method I said this store commits um, add to do and then add a TD to do attribute like so and then the idea attribute like so. Okay. And then inside mutations, um, what I did is I said here state to do's push, added here to do um, ID and then also the ID itself like so. So simply pause the video and retype that. Um, with that, we get now this here back. Okay. Um, we have now basically the array. We have all these attributes here. And what's very important is that here where it says set to do, I've also changed that here inside the mounted function um, to x.data because uh, our uh, document has now two fields, right? And so I simply push that now to our local um, store and now we can grab that, okay? Now it's saved inside the uh, to-do itself. So I can now say dot to-do, and this will give us back just the title, okay? And if I say dot uh, ID, it will give us back just the ID, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now that we have stored the data, what we can now finally do is we can, just to confirm that everything's working, say here alert, whenever we want to remove something and we want to alert the to-do attribute. So if I click now on one of these, we get an object object back, which is very good. If I say dot to-do, we should get back the uh, title or to-do itself. And if I say now ID, we should get back just the ID, 
which is exactly the case right so with that we can push that now to our store so first i will delete that on firestore so we simply say hey firestore um, collection to do in a document i want to get the to do id document and then we can use delete which is a method um, firebase provides and then we can console log um, success fully deleted uh, document and then we can basically make a callback so once that is finished um, actually we can do it here inside console where we console log that uh, we can add here the commit to it we can say hey this dot store commit and then we want to remove uh, basically just the uh, to do that we had just like we did it before okay so i can say here um, remove to do remove to do and here i can then add the index again and so this should also locally update the store uh, from from our state management library so let's try this out so if i click on a First off, you notice that we get successfully delete a document, then the uh, to-do disappeared, and we also deleted that on the database. So if I click on this one, you see it also deletes it on the database, and if I refresh it, everything should be still working. All right, there's a little bit of a delay, as you can see, but um, when you go to websites that use a modern front-end framework, you oftentimes notice that um, you could use a um, loading icon in the in the meantime uh, but yeah everything's working i can add now a protein shake i can actually we have one error and that is because yeah right i found the issue here again um this time i also removed here the semi uh, quotes from uh, the same quotes from uh, our two attributes okay so before i had these a single quotes here and I simply remove them and now uh, we get immediately the uh, payload uh, back when we add a new to do okay so we no longer have this issue and it's still uh, pushing it to the database all right so this is pretty awesome if you ask me especially how long it actually took overall we were pretty fast and yeah I would call this app now pretty much complete we can add new to do's we can remove them they will be deleted on our, our database and also inside our app and we can always add new to do's and remove existing to do's like so yeah and yeah everything's working right all right so this two parts here is hopefully showed you how to build things or more or less a simple app in Nux.js and how to use Vuex in Nux.js and also how to connect it later on uh, with the database in our case, a uh, Firestore. And I hope it was also a lot of fun for you to create this app because I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I plan actually to do much more stuff in Nux.js and also to some degree modern front end stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you have enjoyed it, if you have learned something, make sure to subscribe and like and yeah. As always, thanks for watching and see you maybe next time. Bye.